this body kit for this cayenne. It's ridiculous. Absolutely. Two cups, one girl. So we're gonna get in trouble for this? Yo, guys, right. guys, where, where's Matt? Relax. Don't worry. He'll be here. What's up, guys? What's going on? It's about time. Yeah, I know. Sorry. GM shows a zero emissions future of Cadillac, an F1 star goes supernova, a sob is born, and two girls, one cup. Enough said. I'm Matt Farah from the New York Motor Club and host of Garage 419. You're watching Fast Lane Daily. Apparently, GM is serious about alternative energy, or maybe they just have a thing for the letter Q. It's the Cadillac Provoke, which isn't spelled like it sounds. It's a prototype of what could be GM's first luxury SUV producing zero emissions. The Provoke runs on a hydrogen fuel cell system that generates electricity to power a set of electric motors. That's a 70 kilowatt drive system for the front wheels and two 40 kilowatt motors in the rear wheels. GM says the Provoke can get from zero to 60 in about eight and a half seconds and tops out at 100 miles an hour. It's also fitted with a solar panel on the roof to help power onboard accessories such as the interior lights, audio system, and a Blu-ray DVD video system with twin 20-inch plasma screens. That'll come later. And there's no doubt McLaren frontman Lewis Hamilton will soon be able to afford a hydrogen-powered caddy, or any other damn thing he wants. The second place driver for the 07 Formula One season will reportedly stay with McLaren team. Hamilton signed on for a gigantic $138 million. That totals to about $27 million a year for the next five years. Not a bad payday for some guy F1 watchers are calling the next Schumacher. Of course, Hamilton was only paid around 700 Gs for his incredible rookie season. That means in this case, payback is definitely not a bitch. And if you happen to be a Hamilton wannabe with a few zeros burning a hole in your fireproof suit, check out the latest from Switzerland's Rin Speed. It's the Extreme. The new tuning package for the Porsche Cayenne that includes a body kit made of plastic composites and about 600 horsepower under the hood. No word on the price yet, but money can't burn a hole in a fireproof suit. Dumbass writers. Next up, what's that new Saab SUV? That's in the internet rumor mill after this. It will help change people's lives. Are you bringing any weapons? Of course not. You're not changing anything. Rambo. Rated R. In theaters January 25th. Everybody loves car news. I like giving you car news, and you like absorbing the car news. Now, for some of us, though, car news just isn't enough. You might want to see some tuning shops, or some racing, or some, you know, me and Alex Roy being idiots, but if that's what you're into, check out Garage 419 at garage419.com. New episodes every Tuesday and Thursday. And we weren't supposed to see it yet, but uh, Dutch car site Auto Telegraph gave up the goods. And well, uh, by goods, we mean a, a Swedish SUV. No Volvos here. This is the new Saab 94X Biopower concept. According to insiders, the prototype will give us a first look at Saab's new small SUV to compete with the BMW X3 and Land Rover LR2. Of course, we need a new small SUV on the road like Kiefer Sutherland needs a beer. But there you go. And finally, if you've seen Two Girls, One Cup, and I know I have, you know it could be pretty much the most wonderful video clip since Chrysler decided to get rid of the Crossfire. And if you haven't, you're probably better off. Apparently, the North Carolina DMV hasn't seen it either. Check, please. That wraps up Fastlane Daily for today. Tune in tomorrow when we watch the video, Two Girls, One Crossfire. Oof, those poor girls. <laughs>